uh, the bridge. <laughs> Stu has a theory on this uh, oh, no. this Baltimore bridge well, collapse. I, oh. I do not. I would not say I have a theory at all. I, I'm just saying, look, we. I, it wouldn't make any sense for this to be a terrorist attack the way it happened at 1.30 in the morning. Like, why would you do it that way? I mean, maybe you can know, argue it was some sort of test run or something, but like, I don't know. It's a pretty or just to disrupt our it's infrastructure. But, but, it's, it, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be that serious in that. in that. I mean, like these places are able to. What? It doesn't seem like. I mean, like all the reporting is that they are able to reroute mm. to other ports. The the the. Uh, I mean, it's going to affect Baltimore pretty seriously. Obviously, traffic will be affected. But like if you're going for some major terrorist attack, first of all, one in the morning is kind of a weird time for it. Mm. Uh, and, and, you know, of course, you know, the, the warnings from the ship and all these other things, but beyond right. that, like I'm looking at a big, the, a, a broader picture here and, and I'm not, I'm getting, <laughs> not, I'm not saying this. What I'm, what I want you to know, Pat, is I'm mm. not saying this. Okay. I, I am. What are I, you not saying? I am though? not saying that Pete Buttigieg individually uh-huh. is going to each one of these things and, and like unscrewing Boeing doors before the plane takes. Right. I'm not saying he's doing that. Right. Okay. I'm not saying right. Right. he's loosening tires off of planes. You're not the, saying. I'm not saying that. It would be incredibly impossible. Right. Yeah. What I am saying Look. is, should we check his house to see if he has scuba gear? You Let's are just saying Let's at that? least check it out. All right. Why not go into his garage and see me? Maybe he has a couple of, <laughs> you know, a couple of, uh, I don't know, rubber suits that he's, and that, that might be okay. for other use. <laughs> okay. But like, I'm just saying, okay. can we at least check? We should at least know that. Hey, all right. Maybe he's okay, got a Phillips no screwdriver or something. Yeah. yeah. Right. Does yeah. he have a screwdriver? Right. Yes. Right. Yes. I mean, yes. It would just be interesting to know it would. what type yeah. of. Okay. Underwater diving uh-huh. gear the man owns. Uh-huh. Like, does he happen right, to have right, a mini right, submarine right. in his garage? Right. Like, that would be something. First of all, that would be know. weird. First of all, first of all, as I said, they always return to the cre- the scene of the crime. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he never shows up after one of the. He disappears after this. Yes. If you know that, yeah. we never hear him talk about anything transportation. Have you heard him actually, you know, standing in front of a United airliner going, we're going to shut this thing down until we figure out why the uh, United Airlines <laughs> keeps losing doors and wheels. And uh, I heard the steering wheel or Wings. something the other day. <laughs> why, <laughs> right. Why? Where is he on that? So he never shows up at the scene of the crime. So that immediately goes, eh. It's also way too much work for him. Mm. Okay. And That's true. he would have to learn things like how to put the mask on, which I think is beyond his capability. <laughs> you know, how do I, the scuba mm-hmm. gear, the, the breather goes where exactly? And you don't want to use it after him, after he <laughs> tries it. I, I'm just saying, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I think, look, there are a lot of reasons to believe that Pete Buttigieg isn't responsible for each one of these things. It would, it, it would be insane. It would be a crazy be insane, development yes. by, by yes, all accounts. However, like, right. how else do we explain this? Like, it would be unprecedented The fact if it was our transportation secretary. Right, it would be. Yes, yeah. I would agree. Yeah. Unprecedented. Never, never in history has a transportation secretary Doesn't happen. sabotaged so can much we transportation. Look, right. <laughs> can we look at the bright side, however? Mm-hmm. That would be more than any transportation secretary has done probably in the history of transportation. Uh, I never a, know what they do. This is a good point. Mm-hmm. Who mm-hmm. knows yeah. the name of any other transportation secretary? Yet we uh, all... Chow. Yeah, Chow was one. And the other one that I did pop <laughs> into my head was La Hood because back in the day. But like uh, not for, hey, he's screwing up all of our infrastructure. It was like, oh, well... He's sort of a notable figure that occasionally comes up in policy conversations. This guy <laughs> has overseen disaster movie sequel after disaster movie sequel since he got this job. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have American institutions. Boeing is just like, ah, we can't keep planes in the air anymore. <laughs> like, what? Why? Why has all of this happened under his watch? It's like mm-hmm. he's trying. He's like he's Michael Mann. What, he's a tie to. We now have more footage to show in disaster movies because of this guy. I, allegedly, I mean, I I don't think he is intentionally derailing trains across the country, but it it does seem weird. 
that ever since he got that, we should at least look to see if he's got like a wedge you know, or some tools I would say, that would allow him to do it. I, like, you know, I, you I would say the fact that everything is being derailed would lead me to believe that it's not one man. It's probably not. You know? It's probably not. And this not. isn't this is not it's that probably. unusual. The entire the entire country is going into a bridge abutment. Mm-hmm. That's it, true. It That's would true. explain why we never see him though. Because he's always on yeah, it would. It would into one of these places, right. loosening some bolt. Right. Like it's, prob- <laughs> it's probably not him loosening bolts. It's probably not. Probably not. It's probably not. But probably like, not. Wouldn't it be easy to rule it out? Like, shouldn't we at least go look it around? Just to yeah. just uh, you know, let's toss that. Let's toss the individual possibility that Pete Buttigieg is flying around the country, disabling our infrastructure. Let's just fi- let's just rule that one out. <laughs> it's got to be easy to rule out. I'd feel a lot better. Yes. <laughs> you know, I would. I mean, even though I understand, it's call unlikely. his husband it's and unlikely. find out what <laughs> was exactly. he in bed with you <laughs> last night or the night before when this thing hit the bridge abutment. Just find out. Let's just find out. It's just an. Mm-hmm. easy one to rule out and like until Dude. we can rule it out he should go back on paternity leave that's all i'm saying I, he shouldn't be employed in this oh, job I when this is a possibility what this is yeah i see what this is you just want him out as the transportation secretary oh wow you are Could such that a be bad it? man well i oh man is look it- is it homophobia? Say, is that what's happening? It's definitely not homophobia. He can be as absolutely gay as he'd like to be while on paternity leave. In fact, I'd encourage it. It would be almost odd if he wasn't, right? Mm-hmm. But like, right. what I'm saying is, ever since this guy took this job, we have done show after show after yeah. show out of about, about transportation infrastructure collapse. Mm-hmm. Why? What? What is ha- like? Why not just? Either he's individually doing it himself, or maybe another possibility is everything this man touches gets destroyed like he's Ivan Drago. Maybe that's the thing. <laughs> I, that- I have to tell you, I, I don't even know if he... I think this is just... This is just... Uh, now, four years of absolute incompetence, the companies all being uh, distracted from what they have to do so they can meet new governmental mandates on bullcrap that mean nothing to any of us. And this mm-hmm. guy, this guy, I don't think he knows what his job is. I really don't. Uh, he do seems you? to be terrible at it. And whenever he is involved in something tragedies ensue so you know i well, mean again we, we we talk about these problems like with the border like i don't know you, you, what do you do you got to close you got to make sure you're closing off the border to illegal immigration before you're worried about the immigrants that have already crossed right like got to be stop the, the flow mm-hmm. there's a leak you got to stop the leak for turn the water off first then fix with this it's like shouldn't we just turn the water off here like get this guy away from this thing first and then we'll figure out some of the other details whatever he's bringing to the table is weighing down the table and the table's collapsing can we do something about this this is the best entertaining conspiracy theory i have heard in the last 24 hours i mean this is good this is good i don't think i it would be absurd to picture (laughs) Buttigieg in a scuba outfit i mean like if someone were to photoshop that and put and give it to us in twitter uh, twitter that would be silly obviously pete Buttigieg, irresponsible irresponsible Irresponsible. he can't possibly be doing it let's just confirm he doesn't have the equipment to make it possible let's rule it (laughs) out have we seen have we seen close-up pictures of the united airlines flight when it was taking off losing the tire do we did was there a parachute after exactly was he up (laughs) in the wheel hub (laughs) as they took off just you know like like one of those you know poor afghans they were just like i'm gonna go to america and he's like wait i'm not done i've gotta unloosen the bolts here yeah like i'd like to see a close-up 
Was he driving a tanker truck last June 11th and left it on I-95 in Philadelphia? Right, right at that right. bridge. Why? When Where? that took caught fire. Like, uh, let's just is, find let's just out. Look. Let's, let's just, just look. see who the driver was. Let's there. just look if, like, if you have the the CCTV footage and just see a little guy scampering <laughs> away from the bridge right after. Like, I would like to know who is that? Is that is that a leprechaun or is that Pete Buttigieg? I want to know who it is. <laughs> Just, these are basic <laughs> questions that yeah. we can ask, honestly. Yes. And yes. My, my goal here is to exonerate Pete Buttigieg. Clear like, That's my <laughs> goal. Yeah. I feel like we might well, be able to think, do it. I but think it's before you said this, I don't think Pete Buttigieg came up as a suspect. Well, hell, <laughs> yeah. I mean, because it, it would be so outlandish, right? Like, there's no way that you're People were afraid to it, say it. It would be crazy. Thank you. It, for, it is that crazy. what it was? Yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're throwing off it. the chains <laughs> and, and right. saying what everybody was wow. thinking stupidly. But, like, right. other people would would say it, as John Stewart said, yeah. saying the things that nobody's thinking. Right, well, that's what he's. That's what he's doing right. now. It, it could be. It could be. But then again, other people might say it's the most logical explanation that he's just going around doing it himself. I mean, why else would all of this happen? And that's why I just mm. want to exonerate him and let him get back to his wonderful family, yeah. you know, back on that's uh, paternity really considerate leave. considerate of you. Yeah, you know, so. and like, really I think, too, we should consider for this particular role, whether paternity leave should only happen after the birth of a child. Maybe it should be like a constant thing, like a mm. whenever you need it, you mm-hmm. take it. Just like go ahead. Be- Go on that leave would be good. right now oh and maybe take <laughs> okay. 8 to 12 right. years okay. off just in case, right. you know. Right. Okay. These are just Pat, possibilities. Yes. Thanks for standing and watching the whole thing burn with me. It's, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's been fun. Appreciate it. <laughs>